Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. I'm back in Hong Kong. Just got in last night. I'm completely hoarse. I'm jet lagged as hell, but that ain't gonna stop me from doing one of my classic street tech videos. And I got a special surprise here for you guys. And yes, the sights and sounds of Hong Kong. Loud as always, I'm here in Quarry Bay to show you guys a double unboxing of two awesome devices the Mi 9T and the Mi Band 4. <laughs> oh yeah! And if you guys know, every time I come back from a trip, I try to do something a little special. So today we're gonna just unbox these in this quick street tech video, but I will do a more in-depth video in a couple of hours. So let's go ahead and check out first this Mi 9T that I got. Now this obviously is very similar to the K20 Pro that I've been testing extensively on my channel, but very excited that this is the global version, or obviously the one that has Google installed, carbon black, 6 GB of RAM, 120 GB storage. So this is the top of the line, at least for this phone. And I got this for around 3,000 Hong Kong dollars, so around two, uh, 380 US dollars, just about. So we will open that in a second. Let me show you now the Mi Band 4. The price, you can see it right there. I got it for 289. Actually it was on discount for a little bit less, 269. And this is the Mi Band 4. This is the China version, so we'll have to check the language compatibility. But this just came out a couple days back and is now in the stores here, so I wanted to pick that up as well. Let's go ahead and start with the Mi 9T. And I'm doing this one-handed, classic Frankie Street Tech style. Anytime, anywhere, Frankie Street Tech, oh yeah. <laughs> so let's open this up and have a look inside. Now obviously I will say the box, you know, is a very different look than the one on the K20 Pro. It is, uh, you know, doing this black look and it is a, Xiao a Xiaomi phone. So it's got the Mi branding instead of the Redmi branding. So let's open this up. And there is the phone, the Mi 9T. 48 megapixel AI triple camera, 6.39 inch display, 4,000 milliampere battery. And the main difference here, guys, is that Snapdragon 730. So I'll show you guys what's in the box later, but let's go ahead and have a look at this Mi 9T. Let's look at the back. And I'm liking this color. Just initial impressions, I'm liking this color. I'm not saying that I'd like this more than the K20 Pro I've been testing. That flame red is something special. Let's go ahead and remove this plastic here real quick. Do it from the bottom. And oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's got this little kind of, yeah, it looks like a carbon, little real, carbon kind of design. Can you see that? Can, can you see guys see that in the lighting there? It's kind of hard to see, but it is very nice, glossy, obviously. And let's go ahead and remove the front plastic here. Nice. Put that aside. And there we go. There is the Mi 9T. And the initial impressions are very good. Look, this phone is pretty much the exact identical twin of the K20 Pro. And just from first impressions, knowing that this has the global ROM, that it has all the Google apps pre-installed, and that it'll probably have L1 support out of the box, I'm very excited about this. I'm also excited this is the first exclusive on Frankie Tech of the Snapdragon 730. I can't wait to test that compared to some of the other awesome phones I've been testing. Let's go ahead and just talk quickly about design, display, performance. We gotta get to this Mi Band 4 though. So design, display, performance, guys, very similar stuff here compared to the K20 Pro. I will say though, I do like this kind of black look. It is very nice. And as you can see the branding, there it is, Xiaomi on the bottom. 48 megapixel AI triple camera on the top. It's got that same beautiful, beautiful bezel-less display. Oh gosh, it's it's a really nice phone. And I can tell already, even with the six gigs of RAM, this Snapdragon 730 is gonna be the major difference. And I'm gonna wanna really answer that question. Is this phone enough? Or do you really want to step it up to the K20 Pro with that Snapdragon 855? So let's take a quick shot here. Classic Frankie Tech camera shot. Let's do this beautiful tree here in the distance. Very nice, very fast shutter. Let's do the 2X. And let's do the wide angle. 
So really quick shutter there. And this Snapdragon 730, from what I've read, is a beast. It does a really good job. And I think it's got like 2,500 single cores on Geekbench. Look at that. It's, it's looking really good. This has the same sensors on the K, as the K20 Pro. So I'm very excited to test this phone further. So there you go. That is the Mi 9T. And I'll be doing a more in-depth video with this very soon. But let's not waste any time here. Let's go right to the other awesome device we have here. And this is the one that I know some of you guys are really waiting for is the Mi Band 4. Now, just one thing I do want to say FYI ahead of time is this is the first Mi Band device I've ever purchased. I've seen them before, obviously. I'm an, uh, an Apple Watch guy, so I do use Apple Watch. I've never used Fitbit, but I think this is kind of what it's targeting. Let's go ahead and open from the edge here. Let's see if I can do it with one finger, one-handed, as we normally do here on Frankie Tech. <laughs> no tripods, no nothing. I'm delirious, guys. I got jet lag. I'm feeling crazy. So I figured, you know, what the hell. Let's do a crazy on the street tech unboxing here. Okay, so let me just pull this lip real quick, and there it comes out. It's coming out, and there it goes down to the ground. It just fell. Where's the Mi Band 4? I can't find you. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. Guys, it fell to the ground. Did it break? No, I think it's all right. So let's go ahead and just tear off the plastic here, and we will pull this Mi Band 4 out and have a look. And there we go. Just take the edge off there. There is your Mi Band 4. And initial impressions looks really good. I got the black version, obviously. And I will definitely need to figure out how to set this up. Now guys, I have never, ever set up a Mi Band 4. So this unboxing is gonna be pretty kind of short-lived here. But you can see I got the black version. There's the heart rate sensor on the back. And the main kind of things about this uh, Mi Band 4 that I've at least read about is that it does have now a new AMOLED display, which will really make things just pop a bit more. And it does, you know, it does the works. I, I was reading through it, does sleep tracking. This thing does like swimming, swim tracking. It is waterproof. It does up to five, I think five different types of, of power walking or kind of, of, of running workouts and a bunch of different stuff. I will probably set this up with this Mi 9T that I have right here. And I will be doing that when I get home. So stay tuned guys for a full kind of initial impressions, more initial impressions once I set this up with the Mi 9T. And I'll be using that, I'll be using this connected to that phone and giving my thoughts very soon. But that is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. Just gonna take this Mi 9T out one last time. So I'm back in Hong Kong, <laughs> a little jet lag, not, not really a little. Guys, I went to bed at 10 p.m. yesterday and I woke up at 2 a.m. So that's, that's not a good night of sleep. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be getting some rest. I will be just relaxing and then I will do a video. I think I'll do it later today, hopefully, but if not, I will do it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, guys. But first impressions of these two devices, really awesome. And I can't wait to really compare these next to, oh, let's do one last thing here, actually. Let's go ahead and put this Mi 9T and let's put it kind of right there next to the other phone that I have in my pocket, which I'll quickly take out. And that is the, that's right, Redmi K20 Pro. And so this is kind of like a preview for an upcoming video. And there you see the major differences between them is the branding. This looks kind of different there too. And obviously that flame red really shines. But stay tuned for that comparison. It's gonna be a good one right here on Frankie Tech. Good to be back, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing, signing off. <laughs> See, I can't even do my outro right. Let's try that again. This is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. That's what happens when you film Delirious, Frankie. That's what happens. Just don't do it right. <laughs>